Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason from Hunter. Hope all is well and welcome to another episode of Tech Tip Fridays. So last week we talked about pro sprays and pressure regulation, but I thought we'd try something different this week. Uh, something that'll help our designers in CAD, but also contractors out in the field. So today's subject would be pipe sizes. So how do you know how many heads you could fit on a zone? Or if your water is exceeding five feet per second in your lines? Now, that all comes with knowing how to size your pipes properly. Now, some of the benefits that comes with that is if you're not exceeding five feet per second in your lines, then you're not breaking things. On top of that, anybody can design a, a system with two inch pipe, but think about the cost implications of that. Now, if you know how to size your pipes properly, you can be more efficient and economical in your designs and eventually pass those savings on to your clients and your customers. So everything that you need to know about pipe sizing is in our catalog. Now the latest catalog is volume 38. And the page that we'll be looking in particular today would be the Schedule 40 PVC plastic pipe on page 196. Now, the way that you kind of read this chart is there's a gray zone right here. Now the gray zone means that you're exceeding five feet per second. Now on the chart, you have pipe sizes on top, and then you have GPMs on the side. Now, if you kind of scroll across your three quarter inch pipe, when we create our little cheat sheet located on the board, um, you'll see that three quarter inch pipe can go from one to six GPMs. Notice I didn't go to seven because we don't ever want to max out our, our system. So three quarter inch goes from one to six, and then your one inch goes from seven to 10 and so on and so forth. So now that we're experts at reading the chart, we're gonna create a little cheat sheet on the board for reference as we're sizing our pipe. <clears throat> so you'll notice that 3.4 uh, or three quarter inch pipe can, you, can do one, one to six GPMs. And we'll put a symbol here with a lateral with no tick marks. And then we have a one inch pipe that can do seven to 10 GPMs. So we'll go ahead and put a lateral there with one tick mark. And a one, one and a quarter inch pipe can do 11 to 20 GPMs. So we'll go ahead and put a lateral there with two tick marks. And one and a quarter inch can do 21 to 28 GPMs. And we'll put three tick marks there. Now, the other key piece of information that we're missing here that we'll need <clears throat> to do our pipe sizing properly is how much GPMs is each emitter emitting? So for today's example, we're gonna be using the adjustable 12 foot nozzle on page 65. And I kind of marked it down here uh, for easy reference as we're kind of calculating for the pipe sizes. So the quarter throw throws about 0.6, the half throw throws about 1.2, and the full throws about 2.4. So the way that we would do this is we would always want to calculate uh, from, from the last head. So if your valve's up here, you want to work your way back and start adding your, your heads to figure out how many GPMs is uh, going through that section. So we'll do 0.6 plus 1.2 plus 1.2 plus 0.6, and that's 3.6 GPMs that's going through this section right here. So because it's 3.6 and it's between one, one and six GPMs, this length of pipe right here is all three quarter inch. So we'll go ahead and mark that down for easy reference right there, being that this section is 3.6, even right here would be three quarter inch. Now the next one that we wanna calculate is one, uh, the section in the middle. So we got 1.2 plus 2.4 plus 2.4 plus 1.2. So that's 7.2 GPMs. So 7.2 GPMs is running through this section right here. And being that everything before that is between one and six GPMs, these are still three quarter inch. And we take the total of that, which is 7.2 GPMs plus 3.6 GPMs to get this section right here. So we got about 10.8 GPMs running through this section. Now it's, if it's 10.8 GPMs, um, you see that one inch can do seven to 10 and one and a quarter can do 11 to 20. So I always like to round up just to give ourselves some, some more wiggle room. 
Um, so this section of pipe would be one and a quarter inch, which is two tick marks. So I'll go ahead and put two tick marks right there. And the last but not least, what we need to calculate is the last section right here. So you got 0.6 plus 1.2 plus 1.2 plus 0.6 plus would give you 3.6. So you got 3.6 GPMs running through here, all three quarter inch pipe. But what we want to do now is figure out what, what size pipe is this section right here. So we add up 3.6 plus 10.8 plus 3.6 and we get 18 GPMs. So 18 GPMs is running through that section right there and 18 GPMs happens to be one and a quarter inch pipe. So we'll go ahead and put two tick marks right there. So that's pretty much how you size pipe. You just work your way from behind and um, add up everything. And you know, to make it easy, um, you don't have to do it this way with the tick marks, but I find it easier to just easily mark mark down um, with those symbols. But you can always write down three quarter inch, one and a quarter, and so on and so forth. So now that we have a general idea on how to pipe size, I want to do an example with MP rotators since we went over that a couple of weeks ago. And the one that we're going to be using is the MP1000. So the MP1000 is comparable to a 12 foot um, throw nozzle at 30 PSI. So just like before, um, I just marked it as easy reference. The quarter throw throws about 0.2, a half throws about 0.4, and a full throws about 0.8. So just like before, what we're going to do is work our way back. And let me erase that right there, erase that right there. And we'll do 0.2 plus 0.4 plus 0.4 plus 0.2. And you have 1.2 GPMs going through this section right here. So we'll go ahead and mark that. Next thing we want to calculate is the middle section. So you got 0.4 plus 0.8 plus 0.8 plus 0.4, which gives us 2.4. So 2.4 going through that section right there. And 2.4 plus 1.2 to figure out this section right here, which is 3.6 GPMs. And last but not least, we figure out the top, which is also 0.2 plus 0.4 plus 0.4 plus 0.2, which gives us 1.2. So you got 3.6 plus 1.2, and then you got 4.8 GPMs going through this valve. Now, with MP rotators, we have reduced the flow to about 4.8, and when you're looking at what size pipe you guys are going to use, 4.8 actually lands between 1 to 6 GPMs, which gives you a 3 quarter inch pipe. So if you're doing MP rotators, you can actually do 3 quarter inch pipe for the entire zone. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully that was helpful and you guys learned something new. Uh, make sure you guys smash that like button, comment below, let us know what you guys want to discuss next. Could be about general irrigation questions or more about hunter products but don't forget to follow jason.fromhunter and hunterindustries.socal for the latest news and cool new videos make sure you guys stay home stay safe stay corona free and till next time